uh, Mark Perry. Mark, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you all. Okay, first question from Mark is going to come from Brian Howell. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mark, nice to see you. Uh, just curious, uh, your thoughts, eight practices in and, and getting out there and uh, Folsom Field for a scrimmage, how did it feel to kind of play sort of a game-like atmosphere today? Uh, it felt pretty good. You know, we're getting back to, you know, doing football. It's been a while, so, you know, guys getting banged up because, you know, we ain't hit people in, you know, about nine, ten months. So, we're getting better, though. Um, I think we made a lot of improvements since the end of last season. So, we're for sure getting a lot better. And being out on Folsom Field today was big. You know, we ain't been there in like 10 months. So. Let's go to Henry Chisholm. Hey, Mark. Uh, you've been listed on the depth chart at star and at strong safety. Where do you feel more comfortable? And uh, which position do you think you – or do you expect to be playing this season? Uh, I, I'm comfortable everywhere. I expect to be played everywhere. I mean, wherever they need me, I can play. I can play star, I can play corner, play safety, you know, whatever. Whatever the team needs, that's where I can play. I'm comfortable playing any one of those spots anywhere in the back there. So. And a monster tiger. Hi, Mark. Uh, getting a chance to get out there late last season, get some playing time. What did that do for your confidence level? And, and what did you kind of take away from that experience as you went into this offseason and now going into your, your sophomore year? Uh, it did a lot because, you know, I know what to expect now. You know, I'm not going to be my first, you know, couple snaps as a true sophomore. I'm going to have some experience. So, uh, you know, going in this year, I have higher expectations than I did last year. Uh, I know what to expect. The game's a lot faster. I know, you know, different reads. I know a lot of things that I probably wouldn't have known if I didn't get that early playing time. So, you know, I have bigger expectations than last year. I told myself over the offseason I'm going to be the best DB in the Pac-12. So, and I'm still standing by that. So, yeah. Back to Brian Hill. So, so, Mark, obviously there's a lot of change on the coaching staff, but, uh, you know, Tyson Summers is back. How much do you feel like that has helped you and some of the younger players to have that continuity with the defense and kind of know, know the scheme from last year? Uh, it's helped us a lot, you know, having the same kind of like terms and different things like that. We didn't have to go in and learn a whole new, you know, defense. So we were able to, you know, keep the same kind of terms and just keep keep on growing with the defense, keep on learning it. You know, and there's a lot of guys coming back from last year, and I feel like we understand it a lot more now than we did around this time last year. Hey, back to Adam Munster, Tiger. Mark, uh, which of your teammates impressed you out there today? Who, who made some big plays out there? Uh, Chris Miller, you know, me and Chris got really tight ever since uh, this upcoming season, since, you know, we've been switching on and off from the star to the safety. So me and Chris got really tight. Uh, our communication on the field has been really good. And he, he was out there making a couple big plays. And just, you know, we, we feed off each other. You know, when he makes a play, you know, I turn around, I make a play. And we just feed off each other's energy. Last one for you is going to be from Justin Guerrero. Mark, just uh, being a DB and having to, to square up against uh, this wide receiving group that you guys have with KD and those guys, what can you tell us just from what you saw from them today? and? How much do those receivers kind of just help keep you guys sharp as uh, DBs having to go up against a really talented group of guys every day? Uh, you know, they help us a lot. We have we have a lot of different like types of receivers. You know, we have Daniel. He's the bigger receiver. We have KD. He's short, fast, slot receiver. So, you know, I feel like it really gets us ready for the season because, you know, we're going to play some top-notch wide receiver cores like SC. We're going to play a lot of good receiving cores. So, I feel like that seeing them every day, gets us ready for those big games so that when we play in those big games, we're not going to be – it's not going to be a big drop-off. It's not going to be shot, like a shot to us. Dave, you're muted. Dave, you're muted. I hate when that happens. Thanks for joining us, Mark. You're done? <laughs>